In this video, I'm going to get the climate mechanic control all illuminated. So guys, I'm back at it again. This time I've been thinking about this. So each of these is an LED. So obviously they have a positive and a negative side. So I'm going to try to figure out which side is positive and negative for each one of these. And I'm going to test to see if they are working. I wonder, can I actually make them work? So the first step was check each one of these LEDs to see if they were working. So I got a triple A battery and I put a positive and negative. I stuck it onto each one of these little lights and they just barely glowed on. So then the next step was to put two of these together. So it's 1.5 times two, which is three volts. So taking the positive and negative, I tested each one of these. And if you go anywhere above really three volts, you're going to just blow them. So I stayed at the three volts and checked each of them, worked out the polarities. So it's really simple. You just get a wire on this side, wire on this side, and then you just literally just test each side. If it doesn't light up, you just switch two wires around, test again, and if it lights up, it's working. If it doesn't, it's dead. So I got all of these ones to work. These ones here, but these big ones still don't work. So I'm going to test something else now. So with the benchtop power supply set at 12 volt, I have my negative lead attached. I have a 644 ohm resistor. And I'm going to test each one of these LEDs to see if they turn on. Take the next one. Okay, so the previous one didn't turn on. Blue is working. Red. Hmm. Nope, not working. So maybe that's not str that's um, using up too much power and it's not able to drive at all. So I might have another look at this. So guys, following each one of these LEDs, you can see a little resistor on the board everywhere. So if you look around, the same number starts to re repeat. So it's 1051, 1051, 1051, there's a few others around the board. There's the odd one that's that's bigger. So maybe that's doing two of them. So if you follow each one of these, there's obviously a negative side and a positive side. And the positive sides go to each one of these um, re resistors. So if we... They're dropping the voltage. So each one of these will work at three volts. But if we put power on the opposite side and let... 12 volt with no resistor go to each one of these resistors it should control the whole board so there's places there so we're going to try it I'm going to leave my negative there and that looks like a good solder joint so I'm going to put 12 volt onto it okay so uh, we're going to either blow the circuit board or it is going to work so this is my little pad I'm going to put 12 volt onto so that going 12 volt there it's going to go down through this uh, resistor and you can follow the circuit onto that uh, tab there then into the net the positive this side and the negatives are all joined together so we only have to find the positive so I'm gonna try it now hey okay it is on brilliant so that's the blue for the lighting of the LCD board the blue there is for the cold and everything else is red Brilliant. Steady. So what I'm going to do is put a 12 volt jumper wire onto these pads and probably rewire them either back to the main plugs or have an external uh, plug to plug into. But that is brilliant. So why am I going to hack this Climtronic circuit board? Well, this board, when I bought it, I didn't realize was actually from a Passat and the end of the circuit of the code ends with a J. So that means that it's running on CAN bus. Now CAN bus is brilliant when it's been used in a car that has CAN bus. When you are trying to put it into a car that doesn't have CAN bus, it's a pain in the arse. So CAN bus controls the LED lights, the display that sits about here that tells you your outside temperature. It takes a reading from your cluster to show you your speed. And then it then sends a signal to your ECU to rev the engine up a bit when you're below a set figure so that when the aircon comes on it doesn't stall out your engine 
So there's loads of stuff that's all being controlled by over Canvas. So this obviously isn't going to work for me. So what am I going to do? So I'm going to hack this board to make the LEDs come on. And if I run air conditioning and the pump is coming on, I'm going to have air conditioning on a separate button. And that button will also tell the signal to go to the ECU to tell the engine to rev up when the aircon is required at low RPM. It's the only way to get around it. So that's what I'm going to do. I couldn't find out how to bypass it. So this is how I did it. With CAN bus, what it's doing is it has a transistor. Basically, it's like a relay. It's controlling on and off. And to dim or brighten the LEDs, what it's doing is turning on this transistor really quickly, like in very high hertz. And your eyes perceive it as either getting dimmer or brighter. So I can't find where to bypass it. So this is what I'm doing. Okay, so the first step is to put the negative on. So that's negative on this side. And I've had the soldering iron out, obviously, and I have a wire. So it's on the negative side, and it goes all the way across to this pin here. And when you flip it around, that's going to be D. And that pin there is 16, so pin D15 is negative. So that's what it's joined to. So 15 and 14 are actually joined together, so it doesn't really matter which one you use. Just don't use that last one. So that's going to be the negative side. And uh, now I'm going to do the positive one. Okay, now I have the positive link done, and it goes all the way underneath and links onto the main positive to power the circuit board. Okay, I have it all wired up, ready for a test go. This is my first test. <laughs> Brilliant. This is going through the fault code. Okay, deadly, and there you have it. Now it's all lit up, so all the buttons are lit up. The screen is the right color, everything's working. Delighted with that. So as always guys, if you like these videos, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Support me in PayPal in the link below. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.